Welcome to our video overview of NEC Univerge Blue Cloud Services Control Panel Account Contacts. In this video, we will cover what is an account contact, the different types of account contacts, managing account contacts, such as adding new account contacts, deleting account contacts, and changing the account owner. And additionally, we will cover the different types of account contact roles that may be assigned as well as preferences and settings such as notifications, security, and more. First, let's talk about what an account contact is. An account contact is a user that has been provided access and authorization to manage various areas of the customer's account. The level of access and permissions will depend on their account contact type but can also be driven by designating specific roles depending on the level of access or areas that the user will need to access and manage. As mentioned in the control panel overview video, there are two different types of account contacts on an account. The account owner has full permissions and all roles assigned. By default, the account owner is assigned when the account is created and initially set up. Additional account contacts may be added by the account owner. These are considered standard account contacts and can be assigned roles based on the level of access needed within the admin control panel. You will begin by logging in to the control panel. From the main home screen, navigate to the account menu and select account contacts from the dropdown. From the account contacts page, you can choose to create a new account contact by using the create account contact link. When selecting the link, a new page will appear. You will begin by filling out the general information such as name, phone number, the user's email address, the login credentials, you may choose to generate a password or assign a password when you create the new account. You may add additional security information such as alternate email or cell phone number that can be used to retrieve security codes when resetting passwords. Additionally, the security information section will tell you if two-factor authentication has been enabled for this account. When creating a new account contact, you can assign roles based on the specific level of access that the account contact will need within the control panel. Roles such as Billing Manager, Contact Manager, Security Manager, and Technical Administrator. To learn more about each of these roles and the specific access that it provides, you may click on the Learn More link to be directed to the Knowledge Base article that covers this in more detail. Once you've created the new account contact, you will then see the account contact appear on the account contacts list. Additionally, you will see any roles that have been assigned to that account contact. To remove an account contact from the account, you simply select Remove from Account and Save Changes. It is important to know that you cannot delete or remove an account owner unless a new account owner has been designated first. This must be done by the current account owner. If the account owner is no longer with your organization, please reach out to your technical support team for additional assistance on this process. Proper verification to validate the account ownership changes will be required. You may choose to allow contacts to receive educational and informational emails by ensuring that this is toggled on. Simply click on the edit and make sure this checkbox is completed. Select Save Changes. To make changes to an existing account contact, simply click on the account contact's name. You will then be directed to the General page. The General tab is where you can update the primary account contact information, such as the name, telephone number, email address, login credentials, you can also choose to reset the password at the user's next login, as well as set additional security information. There is also an option to lock an account contact if necessary. The Login Options tab is where you can update information such as two-factor authentication methods, 
you can update the number used for two-factor authentication, as well as reset two-factor authentication. From the Security Questions tab, you can change and edit any security questions for that account contact. The Roles section is where you can define which roles that account contacts has assigned to them. You can remove or add roles as needed. And finally, the Notifications section is where you can enable and set up notifications for things such as money transactions, security notifications, or operational notifications. This concludes our video overview of Control Panel Account Contacts. Thank you for watching. Orchestrating a Brighter World, NEC.